friends, today we are going to do some colorful paper flower models to visualize and understand the fraction concepts easily. This is what I call craftomath. Does this sound interesting to you? Come, let's do it. Materials required: paper cup, brushes, paint, glue gun, straw, scissors, palette, and glitter foam sheet. Color the paper cups. I'm going to cut this paper cup into half so that I get two petals. to cut this paper cup for four petals. Cut this paper cup for eight petals. This is for three petals. And this for five petals. Make a hole in the middle to insert a foldable straw. flower has two petals. If one of the petal has fallen down, this petal denotes one by two petals of the flower. This flower has five petals. If two of the petal has fallen down, these three petals denotes three by five of petals of the flower. flower has eight petals. If three of the petals has fallen down, these five petals denotes five by eight petals of the flower. Fractions having same denominator are called like fractions. Here, the flowers which have same number of petals are examples of like fractions. These two flowers have eight petals. Flower denotes five by eight, and this one denotes four by eight. Both are like fractions. Similarly, these two flowers have three petals each, so they are like fractions. These flowers are examples of unlike fractions, as their total number of petals are not equal. Equivalent fractions are the fractions that have different numerators and denominators but are equal to the same value. These four are examples for equivalent fractions. Here, if we fold this flower as 4 by 8, 2 by 4, 1 by 2, and 3 by 6, these all represent same half portions of the flowers. Comparing 
like fractions. Here, if we fold two petals in one flower, we get 6 by 8. And one petal in another flower, we get 7 by 8. 7 by 8 is greater than 6 by 8. Adding like fractions. If we add 3 by 3 plus 2 by 3, we get 5 by 3. If the numerator is greater than the denominator, that is called improper fractions. I hope you enjoyed learning fractions in a fun way. Please subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.